مجموعة كبيرة يعني بحال نقول لك أوركسترا عالمية هي يونيفرسال يعني في الهارمونيك والزوين اللي غادي تشوفوه هو الامريكانيين تيشتغلوا تيشتغلوا الاشياء العربيه ديال محمد عبد الوهاب سيد درويش كل شيء الاغاني الخالده اللي كانت كلها رجعناها وزعوها يعني الدكتور نبيل عزام هو المايسترو It's a huge achievement to be able to uh, present the music of Asmahan, the, you know, the music of Abdul Wahab, the music of Um Kathum, with, this, with the voice of Karima. To be able to present it this way at this level, this music, the way it's presented now, has never been done before. You know, the, 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 the discipline, the quality, the level of perfection that we strive to, uh, I think is unmatched. I think it's only matched by uh, maybe you know the Berlin Philharmonic. You know the, the the way they look at music, the way they try to um, perfect it, present something that's so complete. And I think that's something that Arabic music has never been presented this way before. Absolutely, the music. You know, and that's that's one of the things that I think that Dr. Nabil has excelled in, in my opinion, is the ability to uh, make the music available for musicians that aren't familiar with the music or aren't aware of the music and he's made it, he's simplified it 
You know, he's come up with, you know, the one, one term that he's invented, a red note, to capture the essence of Arabic music. I originally thought that the music was played out of tune many times, being Western trained, because we spend many years trying to play everything perfectly on pitch. And I said, I don't want to play out of tune. And she said, no, you won't have to. And I told this to Nabil. And uh, so anyway, uh, I came and, uh, and from there on it's history. I've been with it 10 years. يعني ما فيهاش حدود الموسيقى يعني لغة الشعوب الموسيقى ما عندهاش هوية ما عندهاش جنسية ما هي لا مغربية ولا أمريكانية ولا أي جنسية الموسيقى تتحدى الكلمة تتحدى الحديث